VAR coming into the mix of things. And talking about VAR, last year, if you remember, VAR only had an opportunity to influence four games, but within this competition, it has an opportunity to be a part of nine. With me right now is Felix Tangawarima, who is a FIFA instructor, as well as someone who is the manager of the Kasafi referees. Felix, first of all, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Very excited to talk to you and also about the innovation and the inclusion of technology. Let's just talk about how we prepared for VAR to be implemented this year. We as COSAFA, we are very excited for this program. Uh, like we rightly said, we started the program last year. And last year we just did four games, four last games. Why did we do four last games? Because we didn't have enough referees certified, as, I, as we said before, for these referees to be allowed to officiate VR, they have to be certified by FIFA. They have to do minimum of 25 hours of training. So since last year up to now, we have been training our referees. And uh, before this tournament, we come in one week before to prepare and train the referees. So we have now enough referees to cover the last nine games. That's why we have actually mm -hmm. gone up to nine games this time. Mm -hmm. And when talking about VAR, do we also have, um, do we, are we also training the teams and getting them to understand that it's not just the decision that will be made by the referee, but there's also technology included? Yes, last, uh, yeah, last night we actually had an opportunity to, to, to have a meeting and a presentation to all the teams which are in the tournament because it's actually, it's actually going to be different. The way we were operating without VAR is going to, it's different from now when we have VAR. So we presented our, our VAR project to the teams, team officials, captains, and so on yet last night in preparation for this, uh, this particular you know, VAR event. But you know, sometimes it, it takes time for us to change, to, to embrace the new technology. But what's, uh, what is important is that uh, this is where football is going. This, the VAR is now part of the laws of the game. So we need to embrace all of us, to embrace the new technology so that we can actually come to terms with what is happening. Now, Felix, one of the reasons why many people don't like the AR is because it takes away from the instant moment as to how the players react. Is there a specific time frame in which referees can make their decision? You see, what we need, as you saw from the first half, we had some VR intervention on three, three occasions where uh, the first time there was a penalty which was missed by a referee mm -hmm. and the, uh, through intervention from the VR, the penalty was awarded. There was a goal which was scored, which was an offside, which was actually uh, uh, disallowed. So you will find out there is greater benefit for the teams mm -hmm. and uh, what we need as uh, officials is maximum benefit to, to, the, to the teams and a ma minimum interference. We don't want to interfere, but we want to have correct results. As you can see, actually, this is very important. This is the last group. Yes. And the goals are actually going to have an important impact mm -hmm. on the qualification of the teams. And imagine if we're going to allow a goal, which is not supposed to be a goal, yeah. it has an impact on the result of the match. It has an impact on the team going home. So you can see the VR, this technology is eliminating all that. So teams are actually getting fair treatment and they get fair results. But just quickly before I let you go, I need to know from you that um, should they be, uh, should VR, because it is technology, should it crash during a game, what then happens? We, we always have a plan B. Okay. We have plan B. Okay. Yes, we are there on the line, but we also have plan B. In the event that uh, it, it, it's, yeah, not working, it's not working, yes, it can happen, but we will then tell the teams that, look, this is the situation we are in, Alrighty. and then we continue you know, okay. as normal we, so that we revert back to officiating okay. without VAR. Alrighty, that is a Felix Mtawarima. He is uh, the head of referees right here at Kasafa as well as a FIFA instructor.